Ogawa, Director of Product at Equinix, and I'd like to show you how to order an Equinix Internet Access connection as a virtual connection within a Fabric port. Log into the Equinix Fabric portal and under Connections, do Create a Connection. Here you'll see Equinix Services. Select the Equinix Services, and then you'll see Equinix Internet Access. We're going to go ahead and connect. This screen will pop up showing you the different projects that you have within your Fabric ports. So I will select the top one, and then Next. Now you can select an IBX or data center. You can either search by name or select from your list. Once you do so, select the appropriate account for that location, and then Next. On this screen, we will show you recommended default for your Equinix Internet Access configuration, which you can either accept as is, or you can make changes. In our initial release, we will just have one configuration option, but this will be modifiable to any way you would like. Before we make changes, let's create a name. We'll call this Test Demo. As I scroll down, you can see we have a fixed bandwidth and price option. This means you will be charged a monthly recurring charge based on the amount of bandwidth that you want to commit for that service. Add MVP, we will have a single port option. And then select the actual port from the location that you've selected. Now, now that we know which port and location, we can select a bandwidth commit. The bandwidth cannot exceed the port speed, and it cannot exceed the aggregate of all the other virtual connections you have within that port. In this example, I'll just pick 10 megabits per second. As you might have noticed, the price will automatically update on the right-hand frame. If that right-hand frame is not visible, there's a slider icon at the top. Now you can choose your routing type. The choices are either direct routing, which is a flat network, static, or BGP. If selecting BGP, you can choose either a default route, full routing table, or default route and full routing table. I'm going to check static for this demo. Now we'll enter a VLAN ID number. Note that it has to be one that's not already in use. Then I'll select next. We can now order additional IP addresses for the secondary broadcast domain. You will automatically be provided an IPv4 slash 30 set of IP addresses to connect your device to the internet or WAN side. For the devices on the local side, you can select from either an IPv4 slash 30 all the way up to a slash 24. You may notice that the price will automatically update on the side both here in the IP address section and the total at the top. Once that looks good, select Next. You will automatically be set as the technical contact, but if you'd like to choose someone else from your Active Directory, you can do so. Then select Next. Here's a review page. It shows your project and location, the service details, the additional IP address details, contact information, you may enter a customer reference um, number, if you wish, or text. Confirm that you acknowledge the pricing. Review the order terms and conditions. And accept. Then submit the order. Your internet access virtual connection will be provisioned within five minutes. Thank you for watching this demo and please stay tuned for more updates. Thank you.